So our GPS was taking us a totally different way, a way that we have never gone wow. before. Oh wow, look at the other cars on its roof. Oh wow. And uh, Holy crap. unfortunately. Holy crap, that car is destroyed. <laughs> We're going <laughs> to the beach at night. This yeah, is different. We're doing something totally different that we have never done before. I don't think I've ever done this in my life. Have you ever done this? No. Like even as a kid? No. We are going to the beach a day early, which is wild. We're really getting wild here. But it is prime season at the Outer Banks and any beach, and it is prime traveling day, Saturday. I'm not trying to leave. Saturday and there's no way from where we live to actually do it where you avoid traffic because because you either hit traffic in Washington DC or Virginia or North Carolina. It's bad. You know, on one of their like there's no way to avoid it. So the only way to avoid it is to go to time where you'll be traveling when no one else will be on the road. And that's right. like leaving right now. Now normally we leave on Sunday and it's not such a big deal. Yeah. But Saturday is no good. Yeah, so me and my whole family, I mean like my whole family is coming from my mom's side to this beach trip we're having like a big old family reunion all my cousins and everything it's gonna be so much fun I'm so excited I can't even explain to you guys I can't remember the last time I went to the beach with all of my cousins so everyone is able to get together and it's so awesome unfortunately my mom can't come and my two grandparents but everybody else is going to be coming along and we're all going tonight so tonight's Friday so we're all gonna stay at a hotel tonight and then we'll be at the beach tomorrow and then we will miss all of that traffic and we're basically gonna have like a whole extra day rather than traveling and it's gonna be so cool so Bobby and Tressa are right behind us Bobby's taking his Duramax and we are going to drive together the whole way make pit stops and stuff together and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really I'm excited. Fine. I have no idea where we left off because we missed the gas station. <laughs> so, I don't know what we were at, but here's our pricing. Are you What's ready it? to go to the beach? I am, I am so ready. <laughs> Mike and I have both of our trucks. The Duramax is back and she has new wheels and tires. It's gonna be so fun, oh my God. Ooh, that's what I have to tell you guys. We are not bringing our dogs on this trip because there's gonna be like over 25 people and it was just too much to deal with. So since my mom is staying at home, she's going to watch all of the grand dogs and they're gonna have a really good, fun reunion, play date the whole week together. And it's really, really hard because normally Piglet would be right here. We are now fueling up and then we're gonna be on the road and we're gonna be at the beach and I cannot wait. Our GPS was taking us a totally different way, a way that we have never gone wow. before. Oh wow, look at the other cars on its roof. Oh wow. And uh, Holy crap. unfortunately. Holy crap, that car is destroyed on its roof. There was a huge, huge accident. Yeah, we were, we were, we were super confused. We were like, what in the world is our phone doing? I was like, about <laughs> to go the regular way too. Wow, I hope uh, Bobby and Jessica go the right way. Holy crap. They, they, yeah, they definitely will. Wow, I mean, the phone knew that like instantly because that yeah, must have just happened. It totally like, it took us right around it. That is a wicked accident. That's really, really sad. Wow. Yeah, I hope they're okay, good lord. Holy crap. Well, we're almost there. <laughs> An hour to go. But that's pretty scary. Hopefully everyone's okay. We made it. We made it to our hotel for the night. We're gonna stay at the hotel and then drive to the beach house tomorrow, which is gonna be like a 20 minute drive onto the little island. So it's not too bad if I do say so myself. No traffic. It was this was a great idea. The hotel's pretty full. Oh my the gosh. We've ever made it down here. Yeah, it was such a quick trip. I mean, it felt like it felt like an hour or two. I it just like flew by. A lot of people must do this. 
There are so many cars here. Oh my God, I can't even believe we got a room. Next day, here we are. We are leaving the hotel already and heading to our beach house now. <laughs> This was a really good setup, I'm not gonna lie. There was no traffic last night. Yeah. Mm, nobody knows Breakfast. what that is. Don't wanna know what that is. <laughs> but this was a really good setup. I cannot turn my camera around because it's around my neck. Your neck. But I'm sure I look great. Yeah, you really, that face that you were just making, real good. But there was no traffic, so this was an awesome setup. Oh. All right, you guys, so this is our beach house. Not we good. did make it, Not but we have a lot of updating to give you guys because I just haven't, I didn't whip out the camera because I am, I don't have words this for what I am. This is something else here. This is like crazy. We've never had this happen. We left the hotel, went to Tropical Smoothie. I think that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. Hang on, let me buckle up because it's gonna just nonstop beep. We were getting like a little breakfast smoothie. All of our phones go off and have that alarm like an Amber Alert or whatever. And we look down, mandatory evacuation for Hatteras Island, which is mandatory. the whole island. Now, literally now. It was 11.30 and you have to be out by 12 noon. These people look like they're leaving right now. Everybody's packing up. Like this is the most depressing thing ever. I was just telling my mom last night, because there's like a category one hurricane, which is ridiculous, tiniest thing in the world. I was just explaining to her last night that our poor friends, John and Troy, last summer, had a trip with their family. They drove down the day of and got evacuated like hours later. And I felt so bad. Like how could somebody physically go through that? Like it's already horrible enough going through that drive in traffic, even though we didn't have it because we left last night. And then turning right back around and having even worse traffic because everybody's getting evacuated. And I was like, I feel so bad. Like, I can't believe how they went through that. And here the next day it happens to us. So that was just a quick glimpse of the house. We're not going to be staying at it. Um, we are protesting our butts off. And we're still driving down the island because we are getting bros. There is no way that we are getting evacuated without getting bros. I'm just gonna drive straight into the ocean, I think. And then we're gonna do that after we get bros, cause this, this is the end. Oh my gosh, and <laughs> this was just such a special trip for me. I explained it a little bit yesterday. My whole freaking family's coming. Like this is a huge deal and we never really get to get together like this. And everyone that was coming, their favorite place in the whole entire world is the beach. All of us just love the beach. So this was just a really special trip. My grandparents were gonna be here from Florida. It was a big deal and this is pretty heartbreaking. So hopefully we can figure out a plan. I don't know what the plan's gonna be. I'm gonna update you guys throughout the day, obviously. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna get like a beach house in Virginia or something. We tried to get one a little bit further up on the island in Nags Head, but the realtor people said that the whole, like the whole what is gonna be shut down? What is it called? Dare County. Yeah, is gonna be on lockdown by tomorrow or whatever. It's just really frustrating to me with everything going on in the world and it's a very touchy subject, but we are being controlled in many ways. We aren't free anymore. It's not a free country anymore. And then this, like, okay, if I choose to put myself in danger and be in this hurricane, then I choose that because I just was here five years ago and there was a hurricane and if you wanted to say, you could say that's your responsibility. You are yeah, an adult. No, we don't need rescue. You make that decision. Us, you know, we're two adults. We don't have kids. So it, it, it's so frustrating. If I want to stay here, I will stay here. That's that's my choice. If I'm gonna die in this hurricane, oh well. Why do you guys care? Like, I don't understand when it became mandatory for everything. I mean, everybody is making decisions for us humans. It's just wild to me, and that's probably gonna be a really touchy subject, but. It's very, very frustrating. There are people like full on protesting. We're not gonna go that hardcore. We literally just wanna get some bros and we'll then leave. figure out a plan with our we're family. Not crazy, yeah, we're not gonna like stand in front of the house and like refuse. We're gonna go meet up with my family because they're all up on mainland and make a plan, hopefully. But there are people protesting, like parking along the road. I mean, there's cars and cars along the side of the road of people that are just gonna stick there and give the police a really hard time, probably. Now, I'm gonna complain, like I just did to you guys, but I'm not gonna give the poor police officers a Rich tough time. Rich is coming home. 
Rich they're evacuating New Jersey. Wow. Rich just said, we both picked a heck of a week to come to the beach. We'll be heading back to the 717 early. Wow, that's our neighbor, if you guys don't know. Oh my God, he's all the way, but I, no, This whatever. is so, so upsetting. I can't even describe it to you guys. So hopefully Rose is still open. I will film that and make make light of the situation for you guys. Hopefully it's open, oh my gosh. So Rose is open, oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my god. Now, no matter how sad and depressing the day is, at least we're gonna get some bros in our bellies. You know how, like, if you're hangry, it just makes the situation way worse. Now, luckily, I'm not starving, so I so might I didn't have to do with hungry. my hangriness. But uh, the fact that we're gonna get, like, some comfort food to help us through this is incredibly exciting. And here come Bobby and Tressa. They're always right with us. Luckily, we have them to keep us sane through this horrible time. Alrighty. We got all of our bros food here. Oh, yeah. Mm. We're in America. You should be stay at your own risk. That's what I said. And if your house isn't tall enough to go on the roof, then sorry. That's what I said. So we have a lot of catching up to do. Holy crap. It's all, you can't, I don't even know how you start on that story. <laughs> Okay, I don't know where I left off yesterday, but I stopped filming. You should have filmed that hotel. I I didn't want to. It was just it was too hotel. stressful and just not fun. It was a part of the vacation that was not fun, and I didn't want to really share that with you guys. So we got evacuated yesterday, and we didn't want to drive the whole way home. You know, eight hours and whatever, and then have the evacuation be lifted, and then have to come right back. And you guys are gonna think that like we're crazy for doing. This. But um, we, we don't want to let this trip go. Like, we're going to make it work. So we stayed at Virginia Beach last night, my whole family. We all got rooms, but we went to my uncle's room, and we all just hung out. I have a picture I'll pop up for you guys. And we just hung out basically all night. We had pizza and just had a lot of fun. The kids were running around, jumping on the beds. And so we had a bunch of fun, you know, just being together. It wasn't the ideal scenario, and the hotel wasn't great there was many things that were going wrong that you know there was just gross things in that hotel so we tried to make the best of it it was you know this it, it's just been wild so I didn't even think about bringing out the camera it was you know too much so today we woke up now this isn't even a hurricane anymore it's just a storm but they are still keeping the island closed which is very frustrating but we ended up getting a house up in Corolla, which is like an hour-ish away from where we're staying. And they aren't shutting down or anything, so we're just gonna stay there until they lift the evacuation. Um, it's a little bit smaller of a house, so we might have to cram in a little bit, but we're still gonna, once again, make the best of it, have fun, and then once the evacuation is lifted, we are then going to go to our original house and then get the money back for this other house. So we do have a plan and things are starting to work out. It's gonna be nice to be able to be in a house and on the beach because that hotel was just a whole nother level of wild. We're on the bridge, we're crossing over to get over to the Outer Banks. I'm glad to be back. This is so weird. Like we were just here Friday night and then we were driving over that way Saturday morning and now we're driving back this way Sunday morning. This is wild, babe. What are we doing? I hope it starts to work out. I hope we start to get luck.